think we're live, guys. Let me just check here too and see. Try to find it. Has everybody denied? Yes. Okay. I think we're on. Fine. Good. Oh gosh, it was a pretty day here today. I didn't get outside much today, but I hope you did, if it was nice where you were at. If you are uh, on here, would you please post in the comments your name and where you're from. We'd like to hear where everybody's from. Tonight, we're painting the Lively Lemons uh, with the uh, free tracer or template that I gave you. And um, you're painting with Vicki Jean. So it's Vicki Jean with Vicki Jean Wilson Art, where I teach you how to do easy sketching and painting techniques to create art that you love. So tonight you're going to love your painting, I can tell you. Now let me try to find the uh, comments here. Yeah, I think it's coming through good. Awesome. That's good. We've got Minnesota, Shelly. Oh gosh, you had snow. Oh Lori. Well... I'm glad we didn't. <laughs> I bet you do have more, a lot more snow than we do. <laughs> oh, and there's Janice. So I'm glad you guys are joining. And uh, keep on coming on and then keep on telling me where you're from. And uh, what we're going to do, I've got my paint already on my palette. And I hope you guys have got your tracer, your free tracer. So I have already got it going too. See? I already got it on there. I'm ready to paint, and I hope you guys are too. I'm trying to get to, yeah, now we go. Okay. Uh, hi, Sharon. There's uh, Vicki, and you spelled your name the same as I did. You know, a lot of people don't spell it the same, do they? And there's another Vicki. Goodness sakes, we've got three Vickies in the house. That's scary. Scary. But uh, I'm glad you guys are here, and let's go ahead, and uh, I'm going to change the screen here just a minute, and show you what I've got going on here. Okay, we're going to do the uh, Lively Lemon tutorial, and I want to show you the supplies that you need. Uh, first, you're going to need probably a pencil, but you won't need one if you've already got your tracer, and, and hopefully everybody's got the tracer. I know I usually teach sketching, because that's part of my, kind of my tagline, simple sketching and painting techniques, but tonight I thought we'd just throw in something fun, something a little bit easier, and we're just going to paint tonight. So in case you did not get the free tracer, uh, you can always still download that. It's on my page. And you can catch up with this video later and paint at a later time. But right now, you should have your tracer already traced out on either your canvas or your uh, mixed media pad. I have mine on my mixed media pad. So, having said that, let's go over your uh, materials. I have an old painting rag uh, here. I've got paper towels right here. I've got a half inch brush half inch flat brush, they call it flat because the flat on the end, of course. And then I have a smaller round brush. See, it almost comes to a point at the top. And then I have a liner or a detail brush. This is a th number three liner brush. And when you get this wet, it will come to a point. And then I always have a couple of extra paper towels that I fold up, I dampen them, dampen them. They're not sopping wet, they're not dripping or anything, but I dampen them and those are called my oops rag. And in case you're painting and you have run into a oops and you immediately notice it before the paint dries, you take this uh, kind of damp uh, towel and you're going to blot. See, there's nothing else on it. It's a clean towel and what you're going to do is just blot that off. You don't want to rub usually because especially on mixed media pad uh, it will take up some of the fibers. So you want to just kind of blot that paint off wherever you did that book. So I always, 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 even as long as I've painted, I always have one of these handy. 
So the paints that I'm using, even though I tell you, you, I give you the colors, but I don't necessarily give you specific brands. I paint with all kinds of brands. Uh, now, when I do these tutorials, it's a mixture. So right now, what you need is some type of a bright yellow. This one happens to be a golden, but you don't have to use golden. Uh, it's a, a bright yellow that I like to use for lemons. And then you're going to need a white, just a simple white. This one is Master's Touch, and uh, you can get this like at Hobby Lobby. It's titanium white, just a simple white here. You're going to need a medium shade of a green. And this one is Fresh Fern Folk Art, but you know, there's many brands, many shades out there. And then this is a folk art, it's real brown. You're going to need a brown. So actually, we can do this tutorial tonight in only four colors. So if you're ready and I'm ready, I have my paints. Put your paints already on your palette, whether that is a piece of cardboard or whether that's a paper plate or whether it is a nice uh, glass palette, which I have, but... I like to use these for the tutorials, and uh, they're convenient, and you can just toss them away when you're finished, right? And you don't have to clean that glass palette. So I've got my four colors right here. I've got my brushes here. I'm going to change, and we are going to go ahead and start painting. So you should have everything ready for you. And I'm going to move a little bit here and show you this. I've got my paints. You position them where you like them. Um, you know, sometimes I like them a little bit off to my left, and sometimes I use them on my right. In this case, I have the overhead camera here, so you can be watching here uh, my, uh, my tracer. See my tracer right there? Now the focus, the camera's kind of focusing in and out, so we'll give it a minute here, and it should be able to hopefully pick up. Let me see if I can go backwards with it a minute and get it focused, I hope. Hope so. As you can see it just a few minutes ago. It's probably the lighting also. There we go. See how I have that already traced out? You should have yours already traced out on either your canvas or your mixed media pad. We are going to start by doing our lemons first. So what we're going to do is you guys are going to make sure why that's going out of focus. I hope you can see it. There we go. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Can you guys see that or is it just on my end? Can you see my tracing on the paper? Let me know. Somebody let me know please if you can see the line work. Because on my end, I can't see the line work on the screen. So if you don't care to say you can see it or you can't see it, because that's the whole point, right? We want you to be able to see what I'm doing here. You can't see it. Okay, thank you. I can't see it. Okay, thank you guys. Let's see if we can change this a minute. And hopefully. Huh, isn't that funny? Some, you can see it if I get it closer. Let me, hang on with me guys. We're gonna try this. You know, there's always some kind of adjustments to do. I don't care what it is. Well, I'll be, it's not one to do it, is it guys? And now you can see part of it probably. Trying to get it to focus in. Light glaring. Okay. Let me try to move that a minute, guys. A while ago, it was all set, and I have no idea why it's doing that now. I'm trying to dim the light a little bit. Maybe that's what it's... Yep, that's it. Now, are we better, guys? Tell me if you can see it now, because on my end, I can see it well. Oh, Lord, you got to love technology. you got to love it. You should be able to see it now, I hope. 
Good, I got a thumbs up. Somebody else, better. Good, thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. Tell you what, let me do one more adjustment. Thank you guys for being patient. Yes, yes. Woohoo! Huh. I tell you what, guys. I swear I have this. I'm gonna say it before we go. And something happens. There's gremlins around here. I just know it. <laughs> I just know it. <laughs> hey, it's not gonna get the best of us, is it? Okay, what we're gonna do first, now that you can see it, thank you guys for letting me know. Because I looked up at my screen and I thought, holy moly, what happened to it? <laughs> Okay, I am going to start out, like I said, we are going to do our lemons. Move this just a hair back. That camera is not wanting to work, is it? And we're going to use our half inch brush and I'm just loading it in my yellow, just solid yellow, working it kind of in my brush back and forth, right? Just like that. And you're going to start just base coating, basically. Now, my lines are probably long, uh, darker than yours are on your tracing lines. Because I want to make sure that you guys can see these. So I did my tracing lines a little darker. And what we're doing is just gently tracing over Kind of like a coloring book, right? Except we are artists and we're painting. So I'm going to do my first lemon. Like that. Look how bright and cheery that is. Then when I get my first lemon done, I'm going to move on down and I'm going to go ahead and finish these other lemons. So I can just go on over to this one. See how I'm painting? I'm just filling it in. Just doing the base color of the lemons. Keeping the same shape as the tracer and I'm using smooth strokes. See, I'm smoothing my strokes out. I don't want on this painting, I don't really want a lot of ridges and bumps and things like that. I want it smooth. Lemons do have a little texture, but they're a different kind of texture. You really don't have any long lines in it of texture. You have little kind of bumps. Okay, now it kind of depends on what paint you are using. You know, golden, these uh, lemons are, I'm painting in the golden here, and uh, that is a, a pretty good coverage of paint. So actually, I do not, I'm going to let this dry a little bit, but it doesn't look like I'm going to need to give it a second coat. If you are new to painting, let me know. I am, uh, I'm always excited when uh, I do these tutorials and after tutorials, people send me pictures that they have painted and I try to post every one that I get. Uh, people like to see the different stages uh, that everybody's at when they're painting and uh, I, I enjoy it too. So when you get done with your painting and you would like for me to post that, then you can send that to me. Uh, and uh, I will be sure to uh, post that for you. I'm going to wait just a minute, let everybody kind of get caught up with your lemons. What you're doing is just using a solid yellow and you are painting all three lemons. I'm going to grab a drink of my, my drink here. My husband and I are getting in a habit of drinking the uh, grape it's like crystal light, you know, once you get addicted to it, you, 
can have it all the time. I'm a big coffee drinker. If you guys know me, you know I'm a big coffee drinker, but I'm kind of into that right now for the evenings. So how are we doing? Is everybody getting it uh, painted? Thank you guys for being patient with me on uh, getting that uh, light and the camera going. It is funny because I seriously had of, uh, checked on that a while ago, had everything going, and it was just perfect. You could see it just great. <laughs> Lights were on too, the same <laughs> degree, so you never know, girls and boys, you just never know. Now, while uh, uh, we've got this base coat going on, we're going to let this dry. And what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead, and it's kind of up to you, like the smaller leaves here, you possibly might want to use your round three brush, or your round brush. Uh, yours might not be a three, but uh, a smaller round brush anyway. Now, if you have had a little bit more experience in painting, you will be able to do these with a flat brush. And the idea is you're going to load your brush up and you're going to touch it. You're going to touch it and press your bristles down and kind of lift it. Now, if you don't want to try that, then all you're going to do is take your brush and you're just going to do the same thing you did on your lemons and you're just base coating each leaf in green. So what I am going to do is load up my brush here in green. It's kind of a middle green. If I want it a little darker, then I'm going to add a little brown. See how I take my brush and I just kind of pull a little bit of brown off and mix in that. Now, if you want it lighter, then you know you're going to add, you're going to create a tint and you're going to add white with it. So see that darker green right here? compared to this one. I kind of like that a little bit better on some of my leaves. You don't have to do all your leaves the same color. You might change it up because actually when you look at real leaves, they're not all the same color. There's different variations of color. So let me show you how I'm going to do this small one. I'm using my half inch brush and I'm just kind of touching it with my uh, handle upward. I'm pressing and then I'm bringing and lifting to a point. It's easier to do with a larger uh, leaf. I'm touching, I'm pressing, and I'm dragging. See how I'm dragging and I'm lifting to a point. Now that's one way to do it. You don't have to do it. If you don't have much experience in this, uh, then what I'm going to do now is show you how to do it with your round brush. I'm going to load up my round brush, my small round in the paint, and I'm just filling it in. See, just fill it in. Now on leaves, I kind of like to leave a little bit of a uh, ridge of paint sometimes in places. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, kind of adds a little texture to it. See, I left a little. I don't know if you can tell. Let me show you. See if I can show you a little closer. Can you see the ridge of paint right here? I'm going to leave that. I'm not going to smooth it out. I'm going to leave it. I don't like it on my leaves. Go ahead and continue. Turn your canvas or your whatever you are painting on around and make it work for you. If you need to move it around a little bit and move it around to get to those leaves a little better.
Glad you guys joined tonight. Now I get asked a lot of times too, can you watch later? Yes, you can. You can watch the replay later. I will have it uh, downloaded in a little bit after we get done. I have it downloaded uh, on um, Facebook, will uh, automatically download it, but I will have it on my YouTube channel, Vicki Jean Wilson Art. You will see it there also. Remember, if you want to change up your colors a little bit on your greens, mix that up. I just mix it with my brush. You can use a palette knife or something, but right now I'm just mixing it with my brush. Touch up every, any areas that might need a little bit more uh, coverage. Like I said, different paints react differently and um, different grades of paint. So you might have one that might need a uh, couple of coats. You might have a green that doesn't have much uh, pigment or as much pigment in it and you might need a little you know, a little bit uh, more coverage on there. So I want you to get to this point here where you have all your leaves covered. You've got your lemons base coated. I hope everybody had, uh, I know some of you probably are painting, have painted before, and uh, some of you are probably new to painting. If you are new to painting, uh, let me know. Put it in the comments so I can kind of uh, see who is uh, new to painting. And, uh, you know, the comments sometimes I can see, uh, sometimes I can't, but it looks like they're still, still doing good. Hey, Judy. Several Vickies. Susan, Sharon, Cindy, Lynn, and hi Lori. Okay, Sue, Janice, got several people. Jennifer. I like this painting because it's fresh, it's kind of springy, it's bright and cheery, and uh, this can be put on lots of different things. Uh, you know, I think it would be cute. I've not done it, but I think it'd be super cute uh, painting this on a wooden tray. Uh, I think that would be cute. You could do that. Uh, of course, put it on a canvas in your kitchen or whatever. Some people collect lemons, and that would all be really good. Hi, Diane. Um, so, Lynn, you started painting last year, very much a beginner. Well, it's good to have you. Good to have you. Okay. I'm going to, when you get to that stage that I'm at right here on my painting, I'm going to wash my brush out, a half-inch brush, and uh, make sure you don't have any green left in it. Uh, a little bit of green won't hurt, but try to wash it out, blot it on your rag or your paper towel. What we're going to start to do now, because your lemon should be dry to the touch, and what we're going to start to do is to start shading. Now, we've got this one leaf kind of over. We'll just kind of have to go around that a little bit, but it's not that large of an area to really worry about. That's why I went ahead and had you uh, go ahead and paint all the leaves. So we're going to work on our lemons while we're waiting on our leaves to dry. Now, if you notice this here, this is the original painting. See this? In order to get them to look lifelike, look real, more realistic, you're going to 
have a lighter side and a darker side. You're going to have the side, and I chose the side on the right, so you can see a little bit lighter shade of yellows or a white on the right of each one of these leaves, and even a little bit in the, in the center. And that's what gives it the life. Uh, the left side, you're going to have in the bottom area. See the bottom of each le uh, lemon? And the left side, you are going to have a little bit darker color. So in order to create that, I am going to show you how to kind of shade this darker area. We're going to do that first. So I'm going to use my half inch brush. Like I said, I've kind of dipped it in the water and I've blotted it on my towel. I'll bring it over here and show you. And I see the corner, one of the corners, just a very little bit of brown paint. I'm not even sure if you can even see that. See how much is on there? Not much. And I'm working it kind of back and forth in my brush. You want to use, work that paint in the brush. See, just up and down, just back and forth in the same spot. You don't want to do it all over your canvas or on your palette. You want to go back and forth the same spot. So in order to make this leaf, your bottom right leaf, look like it is behind this leaf, you're going to have to have a little shadowing. So we are going to keep your brush kind of flat and you're going to go along that line. See? Try to keep your brush flat and just smooth it out. And go all the way down. And we're going to not touch that one. We're going to jump up here to the top leaf, or top lemon. We're going to do the same thing. Now this is on the left side of the lemon. We're going to start at the top, add a little bit of shadow, and then kind of bring it down. Now the thing is you don't want you don't want it looking like just a line. You're going to bring it back and forth a little bit and pull some of that brown inside to the closer to the center of the lemon. Same thing over here. You're going to pull it a little bit more inside the center. Okay? Let me show you up close if the camera will let me do that, see? Now, you just want a small amount. You don't want a wide line there. Now I'm going to dip my brush just an ever so slight in that brown again. And I'm going to go ahead and do this next lemon. So I start at the top. And I just bring it around, kind of work it in. Now you might have to go over it a couple times. That's fine. Okay. I'm going to leave it just like that. I'm going to wash my brush out. Okay, just an example. And see how this shading is a little lighter? This one is a little darker. Let's just say I don't like that. That's too dark for me. Then I'm going to dip my corner of my brush in my yellow. See, just a little yellow. And I'm going to go over that brown. And just kind of lighten that up a little bit. It still shows a shadow. But see, it's not near, near as dark as what it was. See, I like that better. That's a way to kind of fix that. It, nothing wrong with it, but it was just a little too dark for me. And that was the first load of the brush. And usually a lot of times that happens. When you first load your brush to apply it, then you're, a lot of times you do get more of a, uh, a darker color. Now, like I said previously, my lines are going to show up a little bit more than probably yours are because I actually, I traced it with my graphite paper, but then just for you to show up on this tutorial, I went over them again with pencil just, just to make sure that you could see them. Let's wait just a minute and uh, 
see how everybody's getting caught up. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the highlight, which the highlight is like if sunshine was shining down on the leaves on this side, and then you're going to have your lighter shades through here. Now you can do this two ways. You, on these lemons, you can add some, pull some uh, yellow over here on your palette, then dip in a little bit of white and mix it to where you have a lighter shade of yellow. I'm just mixing it. Add a little bit lighter here, more white. It's it's a kind of a uh, tint of yellow is what it is. You're not going to need a whole lot. If you need more, mix some more up. Mix some more yellow. Mix some more white. Now don't ever dip your brush in the center. You know, take it off the side if you're mixing colors. That way uh, you won't uh, hurt the red, the uh, color that you've got, the pigment, the rest of the color. Okay, see how I've got a lighter yellow there than here? Let's see what that looks like. I'm going to just keep it on my brush, actually. Take some of it off. And... Uh, let me turn it a little bit here. I'm going to start with my top lemon, but I've actually turned my uh, canvas all the way around. I'm right-handed and this will be easier for me. So just like we did the brown, the shading, we're going to do the highlight, except I've got it a little wider. The paint is a little uh, wider on my brush. And I'm just bringing it over into the center more. I've got it on my right side of my lemon. And I'm just going to smooth that out, kind of blend that in the center. Pull it over a little ever so gently to the darker side. I'm going to go on the dark side. See how that's starting to uh, look uh, more shaded? You've got your darker on the left and your lighter on uh, the right. Now don't worry about if the color is too light now. We're going to go back again. Now I want you to do that with the rest of your lemons. You're going to add your highlight to the right side of the top and right side of that lemon. And when you're doing this left lemon, you just go right up next, next to that shaded part that you did earlier. Just kind of pull it down. Try to keep the strokes the same shape as your lemon. And I kind of, after I do that, I kind of wash my brush out. And with it kind of damp, I just pull and smooth, smooth that color a little bit in the center. See? I'm going to go ahead and do my last lemon here. And I have to be careful around that leaf, going under the leaf a little bit. Going on to the right side of the lemon, pulling it down. Now on yours, you, you should not be able to see the tracing lines. You want to go over those. Mine is pretty dark, so you're, you're going to see mine, but when you're really painting this, you don't want to see those tracing lines. You want to go over those. When you guys get a chance, let me know if you liked having the tracer available. You know, like I said, I teach simple sketching and painting techniques, but this time I thought I'm just going to throw it out there and see if you would like to have the tracer before we start painting. Um, 
If you uh, like the tracer, then give me a, a thumbs up or a heart or something on there so I kind of know uh, if you guys would like to do this again to have the tracer. And if I don't get any hearts or thumbs up, then I, you guys like to sketch them. <laughs> and we can do that. <laughs> Okay, you've got your darker shaded side, you've got your highlight side on the right. If you need to touch up, let's go ahead and kind of work on that now. Turn mine around here. Try to cover up a little bit more of that, those lines, but they're pretty dark. So. Okay, thank you, Shelly. You like the tracer. Oh, you didn't. Okay, Tricia, good. You can always still go in. Um, it is nice sharing for a, a quick lesson. It is. Uh, you know, a lot of people still working, and uh, sometimes hard to get off work and get dinner and things, you know, ready. So I thought, you know, I'll give you guys a little break. If you get the tracer and get that done before we start, then uh, sometimes it might help some people. Now what I'm doing now, if kind of look at your painting, you're the artist, you know, so I always say it's your painting. I'm just teaching you some skills, techniques, but it's how you want it. Now when I'm looking at mine, I wanted mine, my highlight a little bit lighter. So I tipped my corner of my brush in white, actually, and uh, I like that better. So Doris likes a tracer, Janice, Shelly, Trisha. You can still get the tracer if you would like it. It's still on my Facebook page, too, if you want to uh, do it later, too. Okay, now if you want to add any more of the, uh, the shadow, like I said, you dip your brush corner in the brown and you just, sometimes you have to kind of go over it a couple of times to get it the way you would like it. And that's the way I like it. That's the way. I like it. Mm -hmm. I'm not good at drawing. Okay, Lynn, you like the tracer? Good. Well, the reason I did that too, I have a lot of people that get a little bit, uh, they're a little fearful of sketching. And uh, I try to do it, you know, step by step, but sometimes it, it's difficult. And uh, by the time they get done sketching, um, you know, I think they are a little uh, uh, overwhelmed. So I don't want that. I want us to have fun, right? We want fun. Life's too short. We want fun. Okay, my friends, when you get to this point where you are happy with your shadow, you're happy with your highlight, and if you need a pop of lemon color, like mine looks a little washed out, then I am going to dip my brush back in my bright yellow again. All the brush. Work it in my brush. And then I'm going to kind of just go around in the center of each lemon, adding a little bit more color. That kind of finishes off, makes it pop a little bit more. Just kind of wherever you feel like you need a little bit more of a bright 
shade, then go ahead. I'm not using a lot of paint on my brush. I'm just coming in different places, kind of touching up a little bit here and there, adding a little bit of yellow. And ladies and gentlemen, that is how I do lemons. When you get to this point, now there's other things you could do. I'll tell you a secret. It's kind of fun to do, too. I'm not going to do it tonight, but just giving you a little heads up what you can do. Get you a, uh, a small sponge, like a little artist sponge, uh, maybe even a makeup sponge, but I'm not sure. I think the texture would be a little different uh, too much, but you can even possibly, I don't think a paper towel, I think it depends on your texture of paper towel, but what I'm trying to tell you is if you want to add a little bit of that um, uh, look of the outside of the lemon, uh, the rind or whatever, you can add a little sponge in the and dip it like up and down in this yellow and just kind of gently go up and down with that. Now, be careful if you don't like that look, then take that brush, take that half inch brush and, and uh, wipe that off pretty quick. But it will give more of a uh, kind of a outside of the lemon look, but you can do that too. Okay, guys, now we're going to move on to our leaves here. You know how we shade it. Let me show you the original here. Basically, we're doing the same thing again. Um, I mainly have a lighter shade on my green, but you can do a darker and a lighter if you want. So I have just added a little bit like we did a uh, little on the end, the tip, the corner of a white. And I've done the same thing I did on lemons. I just touched, pressed, and brought it down. Or you can take a smaller brush and kind of dab, 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 dab. You can do that too. There's many ways you can do this. But let's try your half inch brush. We're going to start on a larger leaf first so you can see it. I dampen it and I blot it on my towel. I'm putting just a little bit, see, just a little bit of white on my brush in the corner and I'm working it in my brush. Then I'm going to decide whether I want to highlight on left or right, but in this case, this large leaf looks to me like it's coming closer to me, so I want to put a little bit more emphasis on it, and I'm going to put it on the left side with a little bit of a highlight. And I'm just bringing it around, just like that. Now, it doesn't have to be smooth, because we know leaves are different shapes, sizes, textures, everything. But look at this leaf compared to this leaf. This one is just blah, plain, lacks no life to it. This one is starting to have a little bit of life to it. So I want you to do the same thing on these all these leaves. Just add a little bit of a highlight to them. On this longer leaf, I'm still doing it on the left side. You might have to dip your brush again in your white. Every time you do, please work it on your palette because that way you don't have a big blob of white on your brush. That takes some practice. Sometimes people work it too much and you don't have any paint left. So it takes a little practice to load your brush up. Just go around to all your leaves, the same way you did your lemons. Turn it around when you need it. On this leaf up here, my top right, I'm actually putting the highlight on the right side because to me it, it appears like it's kind of almost turned some. So I'm going to let the sun shine on it on the top. Keep turning around to make it more convenient for you to paint.
And you probably will need a couple of coats. And get it the, the shade that you would like. And then I would just stop. Let it dry some. See what you think. I'm do mine a little darker because I'm not sure if you can see them. Okay. Well, we're just going to stop here just a minute. Um, before we get to the branch. Touch up anything that you see that you might want to. If you're caught up, I'll grab you something to drink if you're caught up. And we'll be started here in just another minute or two. Touch a little bit on that yellow. It kind of doesn't show up very much. There we go. I think you can see that better. The next brush we're going to need is your liner or your detail brush. Something smaller. Now you could, you can use your small round also. So, so whichever one that you have. Some might not have a liner brush, um, but uh, whichever one that you think that you would like to use, uh, what's easier for you. Now, I will tell you, in my opinion, this kind of makes or breaks the painting. Now, this is my opinion. You know, you want, as you're looking at your painting here, when you're looking at mine, the emphasis is on the lemons. The emphasis is not on the branch, right? We have to have the branch because, of course, that's how they grow, but it, if you didn't have the branch, it would look like they're just floating in air. So, I didn't want the emphasis on the branch. Therefore, I've made a fairly thin branch. See, my stems and things are pretty thin. Uh, the next emphasis in my painting, when you look at it, is probably the leaves. But you're first going to notice the lemons, then the leaves, and the branch is kind of behind the scenes, right? It's important, but behind the scenes. So think about how wide you're going to do, you're going to paint this branch. I personally would not paint it very wide, or thick, or big. And you want it in proportion to the lemons. So that's another reason a tracer is kind of have, good to have too. That way you kind of know the proportions. So we've got smaller lemons, we're going to have a smaller branch and, you know, small to medium leaves. So anyway, if you have the tracer, then you're going to follow that on there. But if you don't, then I would just recommend trying to do a uh, more narrow, uh, smaller branch through this whole thing. That way you get the emphasis on your leaves. So I'm going to take my liner brush. I'm going to dampen it first. And then this is a mixture of a brown and a white. Let me pull this back again to show you. See, it is a mixture of a brown and a white. I think I'm going to change the screen just a minute. Let's see if we can do this here. 
and you might be able see the top right should show here in just a minute on Facebook the top right kind of shows you the picture and then you still see two two screens at the bottom there we go so kind of take a, a peek off of that and we're going to start doing the branch and if you notice the branch bring a little closer you've got white and brown in it but the first thing we're going to do is uh, coat or paint everything brown now my paint here is kind of thick so if my paint here on the brown gets a little too thin I'm going to dip my brush in the water and then I'm going to make it a little bit more kind of inky consistency. You want it fairly thin so it doesn't just blob out for on your uh, painting or get big globs. And I'm just going ahead and I'm just following these tracer lines and I'm painting it solid brown. If your paint, like I said, gets too thick, then be sure to add a little bit of water to it, thin it out. We're all concentrating. When I teach in-person classes, there's a point in the painting that you could hear a pin drop during the night. We're all concentrating. And it's just quiet as can be. Now's the time. And kind of get it the way you want it. Uh, if you need to add a few more branches to your lighting, go right ahead and do that now. You need to go over it again. Now's the time to do that too. My brown, uh, this real brown, it's by Folk Art, it covered pretty good. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, stop right there while you guys finish up your branch. Shelly, how much snow did you get, I wonder? My goodness. You're probably used to it, though. I am not a snow person, guys. I think it's beautiful. It is beautiful. But, oh my goodness, no. It's not my cup of tea. I like the warmer weather. <laughs> okay, I want to tell you too on uh, this sample. You notice you notice the white in the leaves, but there is a little bit of a yellow 
just a tiny bit of a yellow in each leaf. So if your leaves are dry, that's what we're going to do. A lot of times, a little tip is if you, whatever you're painting has some uh, leaves in it, if you're doing florals or, or fruits or something, I like to add just a touch of whatever color is in that flower or fruit or whatever, a little bit in the leaves. So I'm just taking, you can take your flat brush, you can take a round brush, and see how I'm just adding just little squiggles, just a touch here and there. It's going to dry a little lighter. Just a little bit of yellow to each of these leaves. Not much, not much at all. You don't want some big line of yellow. You just want a little bit. And I'm usually, I'm kind of doing it in the center of them. And that, to me, just kind of makes those pop. Let me show you a little closer. If you can, yeah, you can see probably when I do like this, a little bit of the yellow in there. So you've got your medium green in the leaves, you've got your highlight of a white or a, or a lighter green, and you've got a little touch of the yellow. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and if you've got your, your, uh, branch there. See, I'm still using my liner brush here. I've washed it out and I'm going to load up a little bit of white. Just, and I'm working it. So I'm dipping it in the white. I squeezed out way too much white, didn't I? And I'm working it in my brush. And actually, it's kind of a dry. It's, it's a dry uh, feel to it. It's not flowy, it's not inky, and I really don't want it inky. Um, and I'm just touching in places, barely touching places, of highlights. See how I touched that white there? And then on the right side of my stem, I'm almost like a dry brush. I'm just barely, barely going over that brown. In places now it doesn't have to be every place a little bit of white now I want to show you look at this down here compared to that right there see how much more alive that looks just barely it leaves kind of like little skid marks I like that too gives it more of a branch feel I'm just touching, touching, touching different places. Still allowing some of the brown to show. Oh, got a little too much white there. So see, I got a little too much white in that spot. I don't like that look. So I'm going to grab my oops thing and I'm just blotting. Just touching it up and down. And when I do that, I didn't rub it. See, it's much better. So it happens to all of us. You get too much paint on your brush. Sometimes it happens. That's why I always have that up tray. Hope you guys are having fun painting this tonight. It's a, it's a fun one, I think. The tracer did make it easier, and I believe most people seem to uh, like the tracer. Thank you for responding for those that uh, put put that you or commented that you did. Um, it does make it easier. It does. So um, we'll probably do more of those then. You see that you need a little bit more brighter yellow somewhere. Touch up. You know, paint is fun. I hope you enjoy this. You know, you can't hurt anything. 
The only thing you can hurt is getting it on your clothes, right? And that's like the devil get off. So uh, when I paint here, I when I paint in my studio, I'm hoping nobody rings the doorbell. <laughs> I, hope, I pray no, no, nobody comes to the door. <laughs> I'm a PJ painter, guys. I like to paint in my PJs. Now, I have certain PJs that I paint in. I don't paint in all my PJs. But I have a couple of pair of PJs that I like to paint in. And, uh, yeah, it's comfy. So nobody comes to the door. <laughs> Well, thank you, Janice. I'm glad you liked it. And um, really, that's it, guys. We have finished this. The tracer made it a lot quicker and a lot easier. If you didn't get the tracer and you want one, you can still go ahead and uh, get that on my page. And uh, stay tuned, though, for some more tutorials. And uh, I love teaching. I love teaching you guys. And um, let me know some things that you want to learn. Let me know some uh, uh, paintings that you would like to do. And there's some coming up uh, soon. So stay tuned for that. And um, I hope you've liked it and enjoyed it. And you are welcome, Trisha. And I hope you learned a few things here, learned a few techniques. Uh, now I do go over everything first real, or one more time to kind of tell you the steps. So first, of course, you had your tracer, right, on there. If you didn't, you probably sketched it on yourself. Uh, we started out with our lemons. We base coated them in a bright yellow, right? Then the next thing we did, we went ahead and we learned about the shading. And we uh, used our half-inch brush, and we shaded the darker left and bottom edges of, i got to do my bottom edge right here, of our lemons. And then uh, we learn how to highlight by using the white or a lighter shade of uh, yellow on the, uh, or tint actually, of yellow on the uh, lemons on the right side, right? To make it look like the sun is kind of shining on them. Then the leaves, we base coated them a medium green. Then we learn to go ahead and lighten it up, give it a little bit of pop make them look a little bit more realistic. And we did that on uh, with the white, a little bit of white, not much white, but a little bit of white on the leaves, on one side of the leaves. And uh, to finish off those leaves, we went ahead and uh, we talked about adding a little bit of color that we used in the painting. So uh, having uh, yellow for our lemons, then we added a little bit of yellow to the centers, just a pop of yellow a little bit to add to our leaves, right? Then the branch, we talked about the branch, we talked about proportions, and uh, we went ahead and base coated the branch all in the brown. Then when that was dry, we just, almost a dry brush, a tiny liner brush, we just barely put it in a little bit of white and kind of a dry brush. And we just touched in different places along the branch and that just brought some highlights to that branch, made it pop and we got it. It's done guys. So thank you so much for joining. And it's Vicki Jean here with Vicki Jean Wilson Art, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.